Welcome to People Tools Tech Tips. I'm Randy Gronke. Today we're going to create a basic BI Publisher report inside of People Tools. <music> BI Publisher allows us to take data out of our PeopleSoft environment and format it to make it usable to our users. This video is going to show how a functional user can take the data from the PeopleSoft environment, create a query, load it into a BI Publish report for better formatting, and then run it and get the results from the PeopleSoft system without any app designer or people code. So who is this video for today? This video is for those functional users who need to produce a BI Publisher report with data from inside of PeopleSoft. I'm going to walk you through soup to nuts the entire process of creating that BI Publisher report and running it within the system. This video is also for PeopleSoft developers new to BI Publisher that need to get a good understanding of what BI Publisher is within the PeopleSoft environment, how to use the tools, how their users are going to use the tools, and the configuration within the PeopleSoft environment of BI Publisher reports. We do have some prerequisites today. First of all, if you need access to a PeopleSoft environment, this video is going to use the HCM PUM42 as all our PeopleSoft environment and data. Second, you need a Windows machine, not a Mac. Unfortunately, the BI Publisher desktop plugins only work on the Windows version of Microsoft Office. Again, you're going to need Microsoft Word installed with that BI Publisher desktop. You're also going to need PeopleSoft access to the PS Query and the BI Publisher report navigation paths within the application. The premise of this demonstration today is we're going to create a training class report within PeopleSoft environment using the BI Publisher tool. All we're going to find is our employees have taken classes run a query and format that we have one employee per page, their basic information such as name and company, and in a grid below that, the classes that they have taken thus far. So what are the basic steps to get that done? Well, first, we're gonna create a PS query to extract the data we need. Then using that query, we're gonna generate an XML file straight from the query tool. Then we're gonna use that XML file within Microsoft Word using the BI Publisher desktop plugin and create our basic report both a manual way and a very quick way. Once we have our BI Publisher report template created, we're gonna then create the configuration inside of PeopleSoft to view that report. We're gonna create a BI Pub data source, and then we're gonna create a BI Pub report definition for that template. Then we're gonna run the report from within PeopleSoft and get our data. As always, the XML file and the report templates seen inside this demo will be available on peopletoolstechtips.com and also our GitHub repository, PeopleTools Tech Tips. So, without further ado, let's get started creating our PS query. Navigate to the Query Manager and create a new query. Add personal data, job, accept joins, add training, join in personal data. From personal data, add employee ID and name. From job, add company and department. And from training, add course, session, title, and start date. Here are all our fields we'll use for the report. Save. I'm calling this X under PT3 under EE under classes. Give it a description and make it public if you want anyone else other than you to be able to use this report. On the Criteria tab, we see the auto joins for our three tables. This will only return employees that have classes on their record. The SQL tab shows the generated SQL for the query. Let's run it and test results. Here is a list of employees and their classes. Click the Download to XML link and create a sample XML file for a report template. We'll need that later. Here is the XML file in my Downloads folder. Double-clicking this shows our XML file. A note about our query data. If an employee has more than one class, the employee name and job info are repeated on each line. Only the course data is different per each line for this employee. We'll deal with this in our report template. Let's create our BI Pub report template using Word. Remember, you need the Oracle BI Pub desktop installed before we begin. Start with a blank document and save it in rich text format, or RTF. Click on the BI Publisher menu. Click on the sample file control to upload our sample XML file we just created with PS Query. Let's get a quick review of the controls in the BI Publisher menu. This folder uploads our sample XML. We really can't do anything until we upload our sample XML file. Table wizard, which we're going to cover later. 
Pivot table and chart controls allow us to easily insert pivot tables and charts into our document. Field inserts a single field. Table form is an easy way to insert those controls into our document. Repeating group enables us to control the grouping and sorting of our data. Conditional format and conditional regions allow us to change a format or show and hide a part of the report based on the data values. This preview area allows us to test the report in our target format. Most of the time, this will be a PDF document. The tools and options control validation and configuration of the templates and tools. Let's build a report. Click on the field control, which pops up the field explorer, which shows the structure of our XML file. Let's add some fields by selecting them and then clicking on the insert button. The field is inserted into the document at the cursor position. We'll add all the fields of our report. This is very basic. Let's see how it works by clicking on the PDF preview button. Our PDF report pops up with just one page with the first row of data. What we need is repeating group to loop through all the rows of data for the report. In our template, put the cursor above the data and then click on the repeating group. Select for each row and group by employee. You see the control inserted into the doc is actually two fields, for each and end. Click on the end field. Control X to cut and paste it below our data here. Let's preview this change. Now we see each row of our data file in the report, employees and classes in what looks like a royal mess. Go back to our template and double click on the for each control. Select the sorting tab and ensure we are sorting by employee ID. Now let's work on this report a little. It's a Microsoft Word in RTF, so we can do a lot with the formatting, both fonts, placement, and graphics. We'll add some field labels and add Ample ID. Let's review that change a little bit better. Back to the template, and let's put the course into a grid. First, get it all in one line, each field separated by a tab. Then use Word's Insert Table Control and Convert Text to Table. It's picking up the tabs and correctly finding four columns. Quick test. Looks better. But our problem is that several employees have more than one course, and we want those courses to appear together in the grid. Let's add column titles in the report by inserting a row above and adding the header. Then put our cursor before the course field and click on the repeating group control. Accept the warning since we're already grouping by employee. Don't put anything in the group box. We want a new row for each course line within the employee data. An F control and an E control were inserted into your grid. Find the E control and move it to the end of your row, to the right of the course start date, here. And test again. And here we are. We have employees with multiple training sessions. Let's add a field to show how many courses this employee has in the grid. Add the label, then insert a field. Select course, change the calculation field to count. Check on the grouping field and insert the field. A quick test. We see our course counter at the bottom of each course grid. Now let's improve the formatting of some of those fields, specifically the dates and numbers. Back to the template and double click on the date field. Change the type to date and then select a date format. Choose the month, day, year. Now the number field. Double click on that and change the type to number. Select the format that inserts the commas for thousands and removes the decimals. Again, test. We see our dates and numbers formatted a little bit better now. We can do other formatting in this template. Remember that it's MS Word, so we can do things like bold text and even different colors. Preview again. Remember that good formatting will make it easier for users to better understand the data. Let's fix the spacing of the name and company fields. And test again. A little bit better. Let's save that. Just to let you know, this was the hard way to create this report template. Let's make another report, but this time we're going to do it the simple way. Open a new Word document and save as type RTF. Select the BI Publisher menu and upload our sample XML file. This time, let's use a table wizard to generate a report. Select Table. Leave this as a grouping. It's the only option. Next, select all the fields in the order we want them to appear. Next, group by company and then by employee ID. Next, we're going to sort by course within each employee. Click Finish and here is our all row generated report template. Let's try it and see how it looks. So now let's make this a little nicer. We want one employee per page. 
make some room and move our company field within the employee grouping so it appears on every employee's page. Then department and empl ID. Let's move the empl ID up to the label. Pull the name field out of the grid and place it next to empl ID. Pull the department field out and put it next to its label. Now to make our field labels all the same in the report header and move our data fields out for consistent spacing. Now down to the grid and remove the empl ID column. We need to move that F field over to the course column. It holds the for each control for the course grid. Then delete the department ID column. Now let's tidy up our column labels. Format our start date to a friendly format. Save and preview. Here's a nice report. We need more room in the title column and one page per employee. Just use the Microsoft Word table tools to stretch out our grid columns. Here's where it says group by employee. Double click and choose break one page. Let's test it again. One employee per page and the course grid columns are now wide enough. We can still add in fields as needed. Let's add in that course counter again. Make some room below the grid and add the field label. Click on field in the menu. Highlight the course field, change the calculation to count and check the on grouping box. Insert. Change the type to a number and formatting to no decimals. Test this template again. We see our report has the dates formatting correctly and the correct number of courses below the course grid. And this is the simple way to create a PDF template. Now that we have our PS Query and our report template, let's configure PeopleSoft to run our report. Back to the PS Query, let's add this query as a BIPUB data source in PeopleSoft. Copy the query name. In PeopleSoft, navigate to BI Publisher menu in Reporting Tools and choose the Register BIP Data Sources. Add a new value. Data source type is PS Query. Paste our query name here and click Add. Add a description and an owner ID. Now come down to our related fields grid and upload our sample XML file we used to create the report. Save at the bottom of the page. There is an option here to generate a sample data from the PS query, but it doesn't give us very good data, just 10 lines of generic field names and dates. It's workable, but not near as good as real sample data. Now that we have our data source, we can create a report definition. Navigate to BI Publisher and create a BIP report definitions. Add a new value at the top. Give the report a name. I'll just make it a shorter version of our query name. Data source type for this report is query and paste in our data source name from the last step, which is the same name as our query. Click Add. And here is our first page of the BI Pub report definition. Give it a description. Make sure to change the status to active. The report will not run if you leave this status as in progress. Report category ID for now is all user. Change the owner ID. The template type is RTF and leave the retention days blank. Then click on the template tab at the top of the page. Leave the template ID. Again, add a description. Down in the template file scroll, update the effective date if needed. And again, change the status to active. Do not leave in progress. Click the upload button and upload the RTF template we just created. Upload and save. There are other options that might be helpful. Click on the Output tab at the top of the page. Here we can limit the output formats this report produces. In this case, I'm going to limit the report output to a PDF document. And save. And we're done configuring our report template. Click back to the template tab. We can preview our report from this page. This will use a sample file from the data source with the report template to generate a sample report. Now that we have everything built and configured, we can run this report from PeopleSoft. Navigate to Reporting Tools, BI Publisher, and BIP Query Report Viewer. Search for the report you just added. Set your desired output format. We limited ours to just PDFs. Click on the View Report link. And our report generates here. If your query had prompts, the system will ask you for the prompt field values before generating the report. Another option is to schedule the report. Navigate to Reporting Tools, BI Publisher, BIP Query Report Scheduler. This allows you to run the report from the process scheduler and see it in the report manager. This may be a good idea if the report takes a long time to run or you want it to run at a later specific time. Add a run control value. Fill out the form for our report and run. Here is where you can add a recurrence to run, for example, every day or every week. You can also set the run date and time to a later if you don't want it to run right now. 
Click on the process monitor and wait for a report to complete and post. Now that it's done, click on the report manager. And here is our report. Click on the report. Click on the PDF link. And here is our report. So that was kind of straightforward. We just created a query with our data, which generated an XML file. That XML file we imported to Microsoft Word with the BI Publisher desktop. We created a template and proved it right there. Then we went back into PeopleSoft in the BI Publisher configuration and created a BI Pub data source with that query. And then we went and created a BI Publisher report definition using the query and the template that we created in Microsoft Word. Then we can go run that report from the BI Publisher report viewer anytime we want. Please consider subscribing to our channel and we'll see you next time here on People Tools Tech Tips.